Many million moons ago, the spirit of Culebra came down from the mountain, one of peace and wonder, a benevolent ancient entity. It presented the world with a miracle. They were small, precious eggs, which brought forth five prehistoric baby dinosaurs, creatures of fun and innocence, sacred and untouched, bringing joy and happiness to the world, which discovered them. And one day, they discovered raisins. For them, the food of the gods. And they loved them. Wonderful adventure. I was on tour from Pebble Beach to Augusta. I was never without my personalized golf ball monogrammer. As you know, being able to tell the difference between your ball and others can make the difference between winning and losing a tournament. Now, this remarkable device can be yours for the amazing low price of $89.99. And if you order now, I'm going to throw in an official Hal McGregor Golf Pro Divot Duster at no extra charge. What a blooming good game she's had today. Five birdies and two eagles. She's three strokes away from being the first lassie to win the British Open. And oh, what a bonny shot. She knocked the dimples off that one. The plast. The wind is carrying it a wee bit. Oh. And take a tip from a pro. Poise under pressure. That's the mark of a champion. Cut. And print. That was perfect, Hal. Of course it was. Don't forget our bet. Darn. 
can't believe you did it in one take. What's life without a few gambles? Okay, let's move on. A purple titleist. This ball can only belong to my niece. any gray poupon? I said move this vehicle, sir. Oh, you better get back your sense of humor there, buddy. <laughs> wrong underneath here. Ella's going to need a dandy shot here. I should be feeling mighty dowy tonight. Gee, can I have that one for a welcome, Matt? <laughs> oh, top of the morning to you. Let's face it, McGregor. You'll never be a golfer. You stink. Your whole family stinks. In fact, they shouldn't call it McGregor's putt-putt. Instead, they should call it McGregor's... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be playing the great course at St. Andrews 1D. All I need is some practice. This is a members-only club. And I get teed off at duffers like you who sneak onto our course. <laughs> this is me uncle's golf course. Go ask Hal. I'm a McGregor just like him. He told me to get rid of the riffraff. And that means you. I better be off. I've got some fish and chips waiting for me. Not until you pay the fine. I can't go any faster, Captain. I'm giving it all she's got. My lithium crystals are all used up. He, he forgot to hide me on mincemeat. That skull needle my eyes broke so after me. Take a chill pill, B girl. Mellow up and talk normally. You sound like a tar. You should talk. You should be proud of your kin. <sighs> the Gregors are the noblest clan in Scotland. Are you gonna hide me, lad, before I get me noggin whacked? Are <laughs> you baked? I'm not tangling with those biff tads. I'll lose my caddying job. Oh. Oh. Come on! Uh, all right, I'll go. Time to get rough in the rough. Uh, oh. 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 Leave me alone! You bloody hate golf. It may be the Lawrence Welk of sports, but it's the only gig in this town that's going to help me get the yen to buy the most righteous guitar and amps. Sorry, no go, compadre. Fight those eyes odds on your own. Oh, blast! Hey! 
Slacker, aren't you supposed to caddy for the Wellingtons? Yeah, three o'clock. I was just killing time. I thought I'd catch some rays. Who told you you could think, loser? You are a disgrace to this establishment and this uniform. Button your shirt, freakazoid! And cut your hair, boy. Anything but that, please. Uh, I'll even knock on my sister. I'll take it under consideration. Boys, time to play some hopscotch. I hate those guys. Yeah, we're ready to start it up. What's your time? I'll bid three hearts. I am so bored. Every weekend it's the same routine. We play Marco Polo in the pool. All morning. Get thrown out for taking a leak in the waiting area. And then... We play bridge until our stupid parents finish playing their 18 holes. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> I'll show them. I'll put sunblock on their battery cables. You're right, Reginald. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Here we go! <laughs> there you are, Ella. I'm going to change your handicap. <laughs> Trespassing again, Ella. Uncle Hal. I believe you need to be taught a lesson. But, Uncle, we're flesh and blood. <laughs> Bad blood. Your family's a disgrace to the McGregors. Your father's a loser. And that broken window at the clubhouse tells me you're just like him. Stop your bickering, Brattle. Me dad's a fine man. You're a little green. <laughs> What's the matter with this thing? Uh, uh, I must muscle. Cheerio, Uncle Hal. I'm back here. Uh, 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 oh, uh. I told you I didn't want you golfing. Don't hassle her, Thomas. I wasn't golfing. See, I don't have any clubs. Then what are you doing with your knickerbockers on, young lady? All the other duties were in the wash. Well, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a silly game. What's so great about knowing how to get some stupid ball into a silly hole? Looks to me like Ella has discovered Zen in the art of golfing. I couldn't have said it better myself, Mom. Did you know the King of Scotland once had to ban golf? A wise man. So many people were playing it that nobody was practicing their archery. The King was afraid that the Scottish homeland couldn't be defended. He was probably afraid nobody was doing their chores, too. Want some haggis? Oh. Who barfed? It's a bonny good Scottish meal. Made of vegetables, beef, and onions. It's good. That stuff belongs in a bedpan. And what's with all this Scottish stuff? The game of golf was invented in Scotland. The first great golfer and golf course designer was a Scot, Tom Morse. I figure if 
I'm going to be the first lassie to win the British Open, I've got to harness the Scottish in my blood. Honey, why don't you try harnessing some of the French in your blood from your mother's side of the family? Look what I got you. See? Now maybe you can concentrate and set your sights on winning the Tour de France. You can say bonjour instead of cheerio. You can eat souffle instead of haggis. Here's your club, Zella. You left him at Uncle Hal's, and I'm totally wasted from carrying him home. It's toxic enough I got a caddy for those rich dudes all day, but to schlep your iron around, that's maximum wax. Ella, what do you have to say for yourself? Thanks for the ride, Uncle Hal. Aren't you forgetting something? That wasn't a fair bet, man. You didn't tell me that you had your golf cart turbo charged. What's life without a few gambles? Ah, selling like hotcakes, I see. What's this one called? JFK. Very creative. Now, what's this one called? Oh, this is a self-portrait. I see. Oh. I like this. What's its title? Boob Descending a Staircase. Where's the staircase? What are you doing here? Have you considered my proposal? Forget it. I am not selling the mini putt to you. This is a sure thing. I'm offering you twice what it's worth. Your family deserves better than living in this eyesore. <sighs> Go for it, Dad. Uncle Hal is right. We could blow out of this dump all the big time. Don't do it, Dad. This is me birthplace, the home of our clan. I love it here. What's the matter, Thomas? Can't get the little ball in the hole? I will never sell this place to you. Oh, really? Really! <laughs> I was playing nine holes with your bank president the other day. I like him. He's a betting man. Anyway, he said your balloon payment is due. You're going to lose this property by the end of the week anyway. Why not keep it in the family? I don't consider you family. Now, get off my property. Take this deal! I don't want you blowing it a second time. <laughs> Sounds like you lost your marbles, Tom. <laughs> oh, Rick, what is that Technicolor toss? Don't ask. It's haggis. Just for that! You can forget about all that work fixing up my fleet of golf carts. Great. That means we'll never raise enough money to make the loan payment. Oh, tune out your brother. The man's a pig. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Ella, why don't you try out the bike? Listen to that. Isn't it beautiful? Smooth as silk. that music. Mom, quit. Where's my Walkman? You left it right next to Mr. Microphone. Heath? When I get this guitar, I'm gonna go from caddy and for snobs to Cadillacs and babes. Is that you, lad? for you to be having. And you. You look like you belong in Loch Ness. Paula, is it? Jagger. And Hammer. Sure, indeed. I'm such a twit. You guys are named after rock singers. Too bad none of you crooners are named after Rod Stewart. Or better yet, the greatest rock group in history. You know, the great Scottish band. 
the Bay City Rollers. You want a little game, and I see. Sure, indeed. I'll play you around. You can go first, Joey Beastie. Now that's what I call a blooming good shot. This is more fun than a Sean Connery film festival. I never knew I could have such a funny time playing putt-putt. My father and uncle always told me it was a bunch of fiddle fat. It might even be good practice to boot. Blast. I'm such a twit. Well, at least I did not break another window this time. This lassie is never going to be gaming in the British Open. Stop your bladder skating. It's true. I just don't have what it takes. Look, even a wee dinosaur is better than me. I'll prove it to you. I'll have another go at it and I'll rug it again. More, but I cannot concentrate. I'm having such a merry time. That was a bony shot. Let's try another hole. Me dad should really clean it up. Great Scott. What's this? Huh? Blooming butter in a stone. And it's made by William Maine, the best club maker in Edinburgh. It must be hundreds of years old. What's going on out there? Blast! It's me dad. He'll kill me if he finds I've been gaming out here. He hates beasties more than golf. So let's hide. Come on. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. Ella, are you out here? Oh, no. Who uncovered this piece of junk? What was that? Golf will be the death of me. Oh, no. We got rats. Oh, what an irritating noise. You look like you need some oiling. Ella? Double the evening to you. Ella, what are you doing out here? You were playing golf back there. I can't help it. It's in me blood. Well, I thought you said you were going to try out the bike I fixed up for you. Well, I see you found the right place for it, with the other scrap metal. 
I don't know what's wrong with it. The battery has a full charge. It is going to be magnificent. The Hal McGregor Golf Pro Resort and Spa. It's an excellent investment, Mr. Yamamoto. Saki. What's the matter? He isn't saying anything. You've insulted him by rushing into business. The Japanese like to be entertained first. You want to bet? 20 bucks says you're wrong. You're wrong. <clears throat> Mr. Yamamoto. You're an avid golf enthusiast. Perhaps you can tell me something. Why does Arnold Palmer always wear two sweaters? In case he gets a hole in one. <laughs> He's as cold as sushi. Didn't even crack a smile. Something the matter, Mr. Yamamoto? Oh, that eyesore. Of course. We would never build our resort next to that dump. I will have acquired that property by the end of the week. We'll bulldoze right over it. Face it, Michelle, she's a strange girl. She's not acting herself. So what? You haven't been yourself since Reagan took off. Oh, you're nuts. Now I know where Ella gets it. Oh, sometimes you make me so mad. What? You know, I Michelle, just, put I the welder's torch down. Michelle, put it down. Ah, oh, 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 oh! Ah! Sean, Sean, where did I go wrong? calling this work of art, huh? You're probably guessing a sec. Here, help me with this, okay? Hold on. So, what's the tale of that Bonnie putter in the stone out back? Yeah. Why don't we take a break, okay? Okay. That was your old man's putter. I don't believe it. Oh, it's true. Your pop was one of the greatest amateur golfers on the planet. I followed him around like he was Jerry Garcia from tournament to tournament. Man, what a trip that was. So why does he gripe about golf so much? Well, oh, he kind of burned out of the Pro-Am finals at Pebble Beach. Man, that was a bad scene. See, the top two golfers of the tournament would get to do their thing at the PGA circuit. It was your dad's lifelong dream to get a gig as a pro golfer. Well, your uncle Hal was already in with a seven under par. Well, anyway, your father only had to sink a four foot putt to be able to go pro too. Everything looked totally cool. So what happened, Mom? Well, dig this. Your father normally had nerves made of iced tea. But just as he made his putt, a bird chirped. Well, it was more like a freaky squeak, actually. And your father missed his putt. Man, it was a total bummer. He's never been able to pick up a golf club since that day. What a shame. Yeah, it's a bummer, man. Real bummer. So what about the putter? Well, I'm getting to that. As you know, your Uncle Hal was Will the Country Club, and your father inherited this pad. Anyway, all the castles and the moats and stuff gave me this far-out inspiration to create the putter in the concrete. You know, like Excalibur, King Arthur's Sword. Well, I hoped it would inspire your father to get it together and golf again. Well, my masterpiece had the opposite vibe. He hated that club so much, he dumped a scrap load of metal on it. And that's how the mini putt 
became a scrapyard. Yeah. Mom, why didn't you tell me this before? Oh, honey, your dad didn't want you to know. He thought that you'd think he was a total failure. Anyway, help me with this. Now can you tell what it is? Is it another sculpture of Uncle Hal? No. It's a Brachiosaurus. This symbolizes how our mini pot has gone the way of the dinosaur. So is our home. How true that is. Beasties, do you want some haggis? What are you devils up to? <laughs> Smashing idea, beasties. more fun than playing bridge. And Marco Polo. How's this thing work? That'll be three dollars, laddie. Oh, no. Let me see if I can break 20. <laughs> Talking about making change to little beasties. Good thing I have me scotch tape. Okay. On the yellow ball. When the old man wakes up, you're gonna be in major trouble. Stop your fretting, Heath. He'll be merry when he finds out how much money I'm making. With five customers? Not. I plan to make a bundle on concessions. <laughs> Look, here comes a customer now. What do you have to eat? We have a special on haggis. What's haggis? You'll love it. I'll give you a free sample. Go. Wow. One order of haggis. If I were you, I'd skip the haggis, little man. Heath. You make more De Niro selling tickets to your bagpipe concert, all right? Ciao. Hello. What's going on here? I thought I said no golf. Here, let me have that stupid thing. <laughs> wow, put wet golf in a floor show. This is comedy club compared to country club. Dad, I was just trying to help you out a wee bit with paying the bank loan. Would you give me a blooming chance? I can earn some more money. Oh, forget it. Maybe I should sell this place. I hate golf. That's not true, Dad. I know you love golf. And I know you're a great golfer. And I want to be as good as you. I want you to teach me. But we can't do that if we lose this home. And there's something else you should know. I had a little help fixing up the park. Dinosaurs. I don't know where they came from. I know you hate animals, so please... You want me to keep the putt-putt and these dinosaurs? What do you think this is? Dino-putt? Hey! What do you
Wait a minute, that's it! Dino Putt! We'll make a fortune! <laughs> Where'd they come from? I just love happy endings. <laughs> Godzilla's rockin' tonight Holds our town's goin' up in lights Bruce Lee can can't take much more Here comes Johnny runnin' through the door Jenny screamin' wanna save me please Rock Godzilla down the tree We're gonna rock We're gonna rock through the night We're gonna rock We got plenty go rockin' tonight We got everything oh. that you want Oh, I'm a job of little Baba Baba to one. Call the army and the National Guard. Keep this guy out of my front yard. So party crasher and a well-known drag. Beady eyes and tail to wag. Let the house and you know it's true. Keep on dancing for the night is through. We're gonna rock. Too Real Godzilla is rocking tonight. All time chops going up in lights. Groups of eating can't take much more. Here comes Johnny running through the door. Jenny screaming on your same down to his knees We're gonna rock Rock Silly night We're gonna rock We got plenty good rockin' tonight We got everything that you want Oh, I'm a job of Flipple, Bubble, Bubble, Two, One Call the honor and the National Guard Keep this guy out of my front yard The party crasher and a well-known drag Beady eyes and a tail to wag Let the house and you know it's true something even better. Try out one of our complimentary dino burgers. Serve them up, four hungry golfers. Hot off the griddle. Can't beat them, huh? These are great! You like them? <laughs> Tell your friends. Hey, they're selling like hotcakes. What are you putting in those burgers? Haggis Helper. <sighs> Business is going great. A few more days like this and we'll be able to make the bank payment. You know, you're right. 
Hey, let me try one of those dino burgers. Carrying the golf clubs around again today? <laughs> what happened to your golf cart? <laughs> Would you very kindly <laughs> shut up? You are louder than the noise from that miniature golf course owned by that dreadful deadbeat loser. He's not a loser, okay? My dad was one of the best amateur golfers to ever play the game. <laughs> He's a wicked better golfer than you'll ever be, Hackmeister. How dare you address me in that manner? What kind of caddy are you? I'm not lugging around 30 pounds of iron in 90 degree heat for some uppity twink anymore. I'm trucking. Where do you think you're going? To the putt putt to get a real job, Needle You pick those clubs up now, boy. You pick them up. Impudence of the man. Did you hear what he said? Hmm? How dare he? Oh, jolly good. I can play through with your caddy now. Right, I know I was a major duker to you, Ella, but I'll do anything to get a job around here, okay? Anything? <laughs> hey, dudes, the benefits are great! Up as a golfer. Oh, you're wrong now, Lassie. You make a mighty fine golfer. You just gotta learn the secrets of the game, then you'll be logging. Dad! Now your stroke is perfect, but your noggin isn't. You think too much. Choose one happy thought and keep it in your skull whenever you putt. Now go ahead, try it again. Happy thought. Shot. And what was your happy thought, daughter? I pictured you picking up the golf club again. Ah, well, I say you have an active imagination. How about a dram of ginger? Ernie Brune. Import from Scotland. Huh? My favorite. He is to us, and those like us. Darn few. They're all dead and more's a pity. Ah, <laughs> well put. That's good. Oh. I know dinosaurs may be good for business, but I'm not so sure I like them as pets. Yes. Oh. Mr. Yamamoto has not said one word all day. They say laughter is the best medicine. Try another one of my jokes on him. Here's a good one. Who makes the best golfers? Belly dancers, because they never move their heads. <laughs> He's been staring out at that miserable miniature golf course all day long. The butt butt has been busy all day. The profits must be astronomical. I need to get my hands on that eyesore before Mr. Yamamoto decides to withdraw his investment in the Hal McGregor Golf Pro Resort and Spa. You understand me, Needlemeyer? Needlemeyer, straighten up and fly right. I want you to fix it so that mini putt goes bye bye. Smell like my grandmother, but the deep heating rub feels so good. Oh. Huh? 
down, Scotty. Now I can kick your anus. This will be more fun than when the Scots beat the English in the Battle of Bannock Road. Dull as stubble on your face. You really burned me up. So, I think I'll return the favor. Something important to do. Come on, kids. Yeah, I try. You better appreciate this, because I hate animals. Even though you are cute little dinosaurs, critters are always making squeaky noises that I hate. Get in there and keep quiet. Ella. Yes. What's going on? It's the critters. Hide them. Well. Howdy, howdy. Care for a game, sir? George Stutz, Department of Public Health. We've received a tip that there may be a possible vermin infestation on this premises. Hell. Ah, you should thank you, brother. Rats can pose an enormous health hazard. Believe me, there are no rats or any other animals on these premises. I make sure of that. Oh, no, no, I can't stand critters of any shape or size. Tell the man that, Hal. Sorry, Tom, this place is a health hazard. Uh, I bet Stutz would find more mice here than at Disneyland. God. This ball is covered with teeth marks. Yeah, see? Larger than anything I've ever seen before. Uh, oh, no, no, this is a big problem. Massive problem. <sighs> Attention! Attention! These premises must be cleared. This putt cut has been quarantined by the Department of Public Health. Let's move, people. What a chip. I want my money back. Yeah, first no floor show, and now this. Oh! Hurry back, gentlemen. Yeah. This is a handheld ultrasonic. Bio audio receiving device. <laughs> yeah, you can't buy one of those babies in Radio Shack. How does this work? It's an ultra sensitive microphone, Hal. <laughs> With it, I can hear the breath, heartbeat, or growl of any creature within a hundred yard radius. Strange. You're not registering a heartbeat, Hal. Huh. <laughs> Must be my nerves of steel. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But Thomas, your heart is just racing. Are you nervous about something? Of course not. Well, hmm. well try and relax. I'll find your rat problem in no time. Category. Wrong species. What are you doing here, kid? I just wanted to play another round. Ah, real. What's going on? Helping out little critters is one thing, but I never thought I'd be doing this. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Oh. Oh, I'm getting something. Oh, fantastic. Would you listen to all those squeaks? How? 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 Come. Look at. Look. Look. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's unbelievable. Wait a minute. Oh, massive. Massive. And. Massive vermin activity taking place. Where? Huh? 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 In the house! It's in the house! Huh? Huh? Strange. Very strange. The signal was pinning the needle, but uh, I couldn't find any rats anywhere. Huh? Uh, they must have dispersed when they saw me approach. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh. These premises are under strict quarantine until I can come back with some equipment that's a little less primitive than this. Strange. Very strange. Tough break, Thomas. Just when you had a chance to pay back your loan. Uh... Listen. You're still my brother. And even though there is a vermin problem here, my offer still stands to buy the property. I'll never sell. Think about it. The deck is stacked against you. You don't want to blow it again. Don't listen to him, Thomas. Beautiful approach shot. Nice pitch to the green here. It looks like he's got, what do you say, about an 18-footer? Uh, a little over 17. Looks like a slight break to the left here. He's probably yes. going to push it just left edge. His greens are fairly fast. It'd be a tricky one. Here we go. He's addressing the ball. Ah! And it's, it's moving. Oh! 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 No, he's going to lose a mini butt. If we just knew what Uncle Hal was up to, we might be able to do something. Did you know plaid was originally designed by the Scottish as camouflage? Who cares? I can't believe you talked me into this. Be thankful for Dad's kilt. It might help you hide. <laughs> Look like a manga dork. Relax. Didn't you know Axel Rose sometimes wears a kilt? Axel Rose, as in Guns N' Roses? Cool. Why would we bring these guys along anyway? They can be a big help in a tight spot. Ooh, quick, hide even. Where? Use your kilt. I hate the trolling with your hands oh. the golf cart. Oh, my legs are tired. Hey, right. let's bag this and build a castle in the sand trap. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. These kilts are pretty cool. They're a little drafty, though. Please pardon our plebeian surroundings. When the Hal McGregor Golf Pro Resort and Spa is built, we'll have a giant dining room and grand ballroom. Excellent. I'm starved. I 
haven't eaten all day. I love sushi, don't you? Edelmeyer! Who's that guy with Uncle Hal? I don't know. Wayne Newton? You are not going to eat with us. I have enough problems as it is. I think Mr. Yamamoto is going to withdraw his investment unless I can get my hands on that miserable mini putt in a hurry. Now, the last thing I need is you embarrassing me with your uh, problem. Come on, just a couple of bites. Get out of here. And stay away from the sodas. You know what that does to you. Elvis, no! I misjudged you, Mr. Yamamoto. You do have a sense of humor. Paula, don't do it. I get it. This is a test. Humility is a great virtue in your society. You want to see how humble I can be before you partner with me? Thank you, Yamamoto-san. Please, dump on me some more. Thank you. I'm your humble servant. Ah. Excuse me a moment. Boys under pressure, it's the mark of a champion. Boys under pressure, that's the mark of a champion. You! I knew it all along. <laughs> You're just the people I want to talk to. I have an offer you can't refuse. Forget it. You haven't even heard it yet. Let me guess. You want us to talk our dad into selling you the mini butt. Bright girl. And in return, I can fulfill your dreams. Heath, how would you like that most righteous electric guitar? How'd you know? Nothing escapes my eye. I learned that as a pro golfer, always know the lay of the land. I'll buy you that guitar, and you can have your old caddy job back at twice the pay. In no time, you'll be able to finance your own rock band. Go on tour. You'll have what you want most appreciation for that now untapped artistic talent and escape from that miserable dump of a mini part. And you, Ella, you dream of being a pro golfer, I can make it happen. I can get you lessons with PGA golfers. I'll sponsor you. You travel to all the amateur tournaments. And when the time comes, you'll have a friend on the rules committee to get you in to the men's tour and that fabled British Open. You'll have the respect that you deserve. Forget it. Don't blow this big chance like your father did. Think it over. No matter how much you fix up that miserable miniature golf course of yours, all it'll ever be is a mecca for kiddies, loser duffers, and low-class hackers. Let's face it. Mini putt is the freak show of golf. And you're the dark prince of golf. You don't love the sport like I do. You only want to exploit it for money. I'll never turn. Come on, Heath. I'm sorry, Ella. Uncle Hal here spoke some righteous words. I think we should cut our losses. If you do this now, in one way or another, you're going to be carrying baggage for him for the rest of your life. Let me go. Reality check, Dad. You're gonna lose the property anyway. Why don't you just sell it to Uncle Hal now? At least you'll get a bunch of dinero. 
Uncle Hal has him under his thumb. If we sell the mini pet, we'll be just like he. Well, I hate to admit it, but we don't have any other choice, Ella. Your father's right. I'm sorry, dear. There must be something else we can do. I don't get it. What? One word. One syllable. It sounds like... Pet. Um, jet. Debt. Pet. I get it. Dad, make a bet with Uncle Hal. This Japanese guy has him desperate to get his hands on our property. Well, what good is that going to do us? If Uncle Hal wins, we sell him the property. If he loses, he pays off our bank loan. Do you think he'll really go for it? Definitely. Uncle Hal's addicted to gambling. What's the bet? A game of miniature golf. Winner takes all. Oh, no, forget it. Uncle Hal's a golf pro. I haven't touched a club in 15 years. Forget it. Then I'll play him. You said I was pretty good, and I know the course better than anyone. I said no, and this time I want you to listen to me. But why? Because I don't want what happened to me to happen to you. When I missed that putt 15 years ago, I didn't just lose the tournament. I, I lost my spirit. Ella. Why'd you have to miss that stupid putt? Why? Stupid putter. This is all your fault. I won't lose. I promise. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> this is more like a killing. It's all my idea, too. Excellent. Your sister doesn't stand a chance against me, Hal McGregor, golf pro. Tell your father I accept. Needlemeyer, you remember that little arrangement we cooked up at the Kemper Open? I want you to set it up. You're going to cheat? I thought you said this was a sure thing. I probably won't have to. She's only a young girl. I just want a little insurance policy. That's all. Oh, Helen, I almost forgot. Should we pick up that guitar after the match? You think he heard the part about the insurance policy? I don't know. But I'll find out. <laughs> Is it safe? I don't know what you're talking about. Is it safe? Yeah, yeah, it's safe. It's safe as it's ever gonna be. Just don't do it, please! Come on! Uh, is it safe? No, no, it's not safe. Uh, I mean, I don't know! Well, if you don't know whether it's safe or not, then I have to at least know that you're loyal. You have to become one of us. No! Where's Dad? He's too nervous to watch. He's waiting inside, honey. Oh, this is gonna be a real nail biter. Pardon me, I mean tail biter. Neilmeyer, while everyone's watching the first round, you wire up the 18th hole. Roger. Guess first. Oh, you got your dad's old putter. 
What's that for? What? <laughs> so exciting. Even my parents decided not to play golf today. fans as I can get. Tip from a pro. Poise under pressure. That's the mark of a champion. What drama? What suspense? to keep a happy thought in my head when I putt. All right. I'll do my best. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're not to be birdies. <laughs> I'll have to remember that one. I'm sorry, Ella. It's not your fault. It's in your blood to choke under pressure. Wait a minute. Let me have that remote. Look at this. Frame 161. I'm getting ready to putt. There's one tree in front of me. The only tree within 50 yards. Frame 190. There are no birds present in that tree at this time. Frame 220. L joins the crowd on the grassy knoll. Frame 232. I begin to putt. Frame 260. The fatal chirp rings out. My head flinches towards the noise. But look at this. I don't look right towards the tree where the only birds could possibly be but back and to the left, towards the grassy knoll. See? Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. My putt was pronounced dead on arrival, and so was my PGA career, but this proves it was not a lone bird chirp. It was a conspiracy! to interrupt your putt, Ella. I just didn't think it was right for Uncle Hal to be smoking during your shot. We're gonna make history repeat itself. Uh, that was then. This is now. She's still gotta sink the putt. Are you all right, Ella? We can cancel this whole thing right now. I can do it. My happy thought just came true. Hey, you know, you were right. This feels good. Okay, Ella. Let's see that nice, easy stroke. Be
shave at Uncle Howe's and I realized I was becoming just like one of those biff tags. <laughs> Hi there, folks. Uh, say, I was just wondering, uh, has anybody seen any dinosaurs around here? Does the word dog mean anything to you? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it does, considering uh, how many times I've lost those little old critters. Well, I'm off. I hope I don't lose him again. Don't wait. 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 I thought you already said goodbye to them. No, I was inside getting them a going away present. Well, they're gone. I know. I want to say goodbye. Oh, and I want to give you this. I thought you might want some music for the ride home. around a pot pot smashing <laughs> that sounds like a bunny time <laughs> right, don't tell me you're gonna start rapping bogus again b girl look who's talking okay how about this bonjour papa uh. <laughs> i have been studying your property all week i want to build a resort around your golf course it will be the biggest pot pot in the world and of course, we'll need more of these magnificent sculptures. No problem. <laughs> we built one in Tokyo. And Russia, too. They're in great need of good, cheap fun. Well, we're game. <laughs> 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 You're a funny man. <laughs> so, do we have a deal? There's one condition. Oh, what's that? Room service will have to deliver these dino burgers 24 hours a day.